We begin at the nation's parliament, where the National Assembly is holding a full meeting this afternoon, where lawmakers will attempt to pass long pending bills, including the government's multi billion dollar extra budget proposal. But with deliberations stalled to, la to the last minute and rival lawmakers still at odds over the details, it remains to be seen whether they can reach a compromise. For more, we connect to our Kim Minji at the National Assembly for us. Minji, how does it look? Semin, with lawmakers unable to find common ground over the government's extra budget bill as well as the government reorganization proposal, it seems last minute crunch talks are going to be intense. The National Assembly is scheduled to hold its full session this afternoon at 2 p.m., so about four hours from now, and their initial plan is to put it up for a full floor vote then. A parliamentary committee has been meeting since Sunday to fine-tune the details of the bill, but still can't agree on a portion of the budget increasing the number of civil servants. Ruling party lawmakers insist it's needed in order to create thousands of jobs as promised, but the opposition has criticized it, saying it will increase the burden on taxpayers down the line. As for the government reorganization plan, rival lawmakers have been unable to narrow their differences on designating the Fire Service and the Coast Guard as independent agencies rather than part of the Public Safety Ministry. Now, they will continue their deliberations this morning. But if the bills fail to pass, it could have big implications as today's full meeting is the last for July's extraordinary session. Lawmakers already missed opportunities during the June session as they were at odds. So we will have to to see if lawmakers leave the session empty-handed or with some achievements. Well, it sure is a race against time now with only just a couple more hours to go before the full session scheduled for 2 p.m., as you said. And I also understand there's a confirmation hearing as still ongoing for President Moon's cabinet picks. Who do we have for today's session? That's right. In the hot seat today is Pak Nung, who tapped as the Minister of Health and Welfare. Lawmakers are expected to throw questions at him regarding his expertise on the policies he wants to pursue, as well as ethical issues. The nominee also faces some personal allegations, including receiving special treatment when applying to study overseas while he was taking his doctor's degree, as well as plagiarism. Now, remember, President Moon said he would rule out anyone involved in misconduct from being nominated to top government post. A minister post do not need National Assembly approval to be appointed, but they are required to go under, uh, undergo confirmation hearings. Back to you, Simon.